Yo. Are you kidding? What's up guys and welcome back to Matt Cart where me and my wife go out to garage sales and thrift stores to find things to resell on our eBay store. But we're not going to garage sale or a thrift store today. We're actually going to a church sale. We haven't had too much luck with church sales in the past, but today maybe our luck will change. All right, fingers crossed guys. Hopefully we find something good. That's going fast. $3. Hard to ship those. Car seats, or? <laughs> Car seats yeah. They've they only been used once. Oh, wow. Not bad. Kids came in from Australia, just used them once, and they, uh, they're back home in Australia, and they're uh. grandfather's. <laughs> this is golden trivia. Yeah. Star Trek, yeah. Yeah. the thing would like this. Roy. Yeah, the boomer edition. Yeah, the boomer yeah, edition, yeah, yeah. yeah. The silver screen edition. Yeah. <laughs> This. This one's a journal. That's really cool, eh? Yeah. I've never even seen, I didn't even know these existed. Is this an old one? I think I might have found my favorite garage sale haul of all time. I can't believe we just spent 50 cents on, well, 50 cents each for two old binders of Pokemon cards. And there was some foils in there. And a lot of them are like first generation Wizards of the Coast cards. I almost was shaking when I found that. I was like, you're kidding me. Because that box, like, no one was going through it. And I was like, there might be something in there. And yes, there indeed, indeed was something. Lord of the Rings brisket. I, I can't even stop talking. This is like a vintage Barbie kitchen for a dollar. Pokemon cards with a cheetah. They don't have a cheetah Pokemon yet. They should actually make, like, a cheetah Pokemon. Just, I'm just in shock. Uh, I'm going to go over this more when we go home. This might have been one of my favorite ever garage sale hauls we only spent five dollars on everything here we we're like are you sure he's like yeah five bucks i can't believe it now i'm gonna go over some of the comps that i saw it's not gonna be 100 percent accurate it's not gonna be like 100 percent perfect i'm just kind of ballparking here for value now this i'm not really gonna count this for value these are the baseball cards i'm probably going to give this to my nephew he uh, really loves baseball right now he's actually in the uh, single a or double a team right now he's only eight years old so he's actually really good at baseball for his age this these uh, trivia cards here i saw like a sold comp for about 13 14 dollars he spent 50 cents on this as part of the bundle if i don't sell this i'm going to give it to my uncle who also loves star trek now i couldn't find exact sold comps on this one either we bought it for like a dollar it was bundled as part of the deal it is a pretty vintage barbie like 2003 not super vintage but about 20 years i, I think 20 years uh kind of reads you know meets the threshold for me personally to consider something vintage so i'm gonna set that one aside as well 
Now, this one right here, I couldn't find sold comps on this. I sold, I saw sold comps similar to this for like $13, $14, but someone had this specific one listed as vintage, vintage, and it was listed for like 60 something dollars. I don't really know. I'm gonna list this for like 20 or best offer because I think that's a, a little bit steep and see if this sells. It was labeled a collectible. But for 50 cents, I thought, why not take the chance? And speaking of taking the chance, this guess purse right here, 50 cents. My wife said, you know what? If it is guess, we could probably get a decent amount for it. And I said, you know, yeah, let's just bundle that up together. Why not? 50 cents for a potential guess purse, uh, purse there. And then we got this like handkerchief slash, I suppose it's a scarf. Emma Allegro, I think it, it had a, yeah, there it is, Laurel. Um, I don't know. I looked up similar comps to this. Looks like they sell for at like twenty, thirty dollars. I don't know for fifty cents. New with tag. I thought it was uh, worth worth the effort. Fifty cents for this Lego book. Again, I saw like a sold comp for like five bucks, so not really worth too much. Now this here, this Risk board game, I saw comps pre-owned for about forty dollars. Not too bad. I took the risk on this one. Ha ha ha. Pun intended. Pun intended. So I can put this aside too. Not a bad, not a bad purchase in my opinion. I think that's really good. And uh, this was the main purchase. I couldn't believe this. I have been dying to find like a Pokemon binder at a yard sale and finally the day has come. Pokemon cards, look at that. That is fantastic. Look at all the Pokeballs here. I'm gonna have to clean up these binders though or at least transfer the cards over into something a little more protective. But uh, let's go over the yellow binder first. And then, uh, oh. and then we'll go over the black binder. So crazy. So this is like Delta Species cards, like from like the early 2000s, Wizards of the Coast era, some of them. Uh, fantastic. It looks like it's anywhere between like first base set all the way up until uh, like 2007 or so would be like the latest set that I saw briefly. I didn't look at all the cards. I just briefly looked through. But this is a reverse hollow foil Lucario from 2007. That is wicked. The condition on this is actually not too bad. That's actually pretty good. Not like near mint. All right, I'll put this over here. But it's it's decent. It's pretty decent. Okay, now it's not good. Come on, go back inside. Go in. There we go. Now we got Lucario back. Okay, let me get like cards here, like Torchic from 2006, Brock's Training Method, another Reverse Hall of Oil. Look at that Delta Species Charmeleon. That is wicked. I love that card. And then we got a Pikachu there from Sky Ridge, one of the rarest sets out there. If you see any like uh, hollow foils from the set, they are worth a lot of money. Uh, we got some other rares here, like Omnistar, it looks like a rare Electa, Electabuzz, that is cool, Reverse Hollow Foil, Crystal Guardians, like Lombre, look at this, this is crazy, Holland Fend is another Reverse Hollow Foil there, another Reverse Hollow Foil there, some Japanese cards, we've got another Reverse Hollow Metacham from Power Keepers, another old set, this is another, yeah, another Sky Ridge card, Delta Species, just fantastic, look at another one, Centret, Reverse Hollow Foil, this is unbelievable cards from neo destiny now none of these like there wasn't anything that i saw that was super rare but i just briefly passed over these but this is a foil of vaporeon i think uh, i'm not sure I'll, I'll put a sold comp on there but i think this might be pretty good another neo card uh jigglypuff down there uh, war turtle yeah it's just a crazy find i think uh, that's a rare as well that react energy uh crazy crazy stuff let's go to the next binder show you guys what i got Got some Gretzky cards because we're in Canada. Why not? Uh, Arbok here, pretty cool. Weeping Bell. This I think this binder had a little bit older stuff too. And uh, yeah, look at that. Oh my God, Beedrill, Beedrill, Shadowless, fantastic. It's got to be worth at least ten dollars. Rocket Sneak Attack. I remember that being a rare when I was a kid. Uh, some other good cards there, like Last. That's another rare. And uh, we got uh, Blaine's Dodrio, uh, Dodrio. More old cards from like. Uh, base set, jungle, fossil. This is just crazy. What a find. This is just, I just felt like a kid. Look at this, Muck EX. I think this, this might be the best card. This, I think it's around like 20 to $40, depending on condition. This looks like it's in pretty good condition. I think this is, it might be Sky Ridge, because it's got like that barcode thing there. That is fantastic. I am so happy with this haul. Foil Muck from Fossil, fantastic. We got some uh, more rares and stuff here too. This is just crazy. What a find. This clues card from Pokemon League. Look at that. Ancient Mew foil as well. 
And then we got Mr. Mime foil from Jungle. This guys, this was 50 cents for this binder. Remember that? This is just crazy. And then we got a another Porygon here. I think that's Shadowless as well. Holy cow. We got a Shadowless Porygon. We have two. Do we have two of them? Something else behind here. Okay, so it's a uh, a shelter. But that is crazy. We got another shelter right there. So it was a give a Okay, we got to recycle. My God, uh, let me know what you think of this haul down below in the comment section. I think it's one of the best we've ever done considering five bucks. I think we probably have around 180 to $200, maybe more if we piece out some of these cards. I would say at least 180 to $200 in value for $5 spent. Let me know what you think of this haul. My God, I am, I am actually freaking out right now, as you can't tell. I'm like trying to catch my breath as I'm talking. This is just nuts. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And remember, may your carts always be full.